state is held responsible for a state-owned enterprise, uh, usually three factors are taken into account. Uh, this is with regards to the structure, the function and the control. Uh, looking first at the first factor, structure, uh, here the issue is whether or not uh, an SOE is an organ of the state. The term organ is used in its broadest possible sense. Uh, it is not limited to higher levels of government. Uh, neither is it limited to persons representing the state with regards to foreign, uh, foreign entities. Uh, and it is also not limited uh, to state-owned enterprises of any particular type. Instead, uh, the term is encompasses uh, entities uh, of whatever function, whatever classification and wherever they are in the hierarchy. Moving on to the second factor which is function. Uh, here the key thing is that they must be uh, engaged in uh, performing some sort of governmental authority. Uh, the term governmental authority itself is not defined by the International Law Commission. Uh, however, the Commission has suggested that beyond a certain limit, what needs to be considered is the traditions of a particular country as well as its history. This is a very subjective approach. An alternative to the Commission's approach would be to look at the question objectively and to, regard, uh, to have regard to what is considered governmental authority uh, in a modern setting. Uh, apart from this, we move on to the third factor, which is control. Uh, in the context of control, uh, it has to be shown as a matter of fact that an SOE was acting under the directions, instructions or control of a state. Uh, in, in this regard, it cannot be simply the case that an SOE was generally acting under the instructions, direction or control of a state. Uh, instead, it must be shown that with regards to the particular act of the SOE that is being complained of, there were specific instructions or directions from the state. This naturally leads to the question, uh, what happens if the SOE's conduct uh, goes, has gone beyond, uh, in some way, the instructions given by the state? Uh, on the one hand, if it is merely incidental, the instructions given by the state, then uh, I, I would think that the state would be responsible. However, as you would appreciate, if it has gone entirely beyond what has been directed by the state, then the state would uh, logically not be responsible. Uh, finally, uh, I must impress upon you that uh, in this context, uh, directions, instructions and control are three separate requirements. So if any one of them are met, the state will be responsible. Uh, similarly, with regards to the three broad factors of structure, function and control, in my view, these are also disjunctive so that if any one of them are mapped, then the state would be responsible for the SOE.